How long does it take to transform into Whitney Houston? About eight months. In just under a year, 30 year old. British born actress Naomi Aki had to study Houston from every angle of her life and metamorphose into America's iconic pop princess in I Wanna Dance with Somebody in Theaters Friday. The biopic covers almost every aspect of Houston's life. From when she was discovered by Clive Davis to her sexuality to her rocky relationship with her father to almost ending her singing career. Aki wanted to be emotionally prepared for all of it, but there was one detail of Houston's life that proved scary, the American accent. It's the first time I've ever played an American person. I didn't want to get that wrong, Aki says, along with the singing. Of course. I would do everything in the accent. I would do voice recordings, I would walk down the street and go order food in the accent just to try and get really comfortable. Aki even made a pact with herself that once she landed in the United States, she'd speak in an American accent, but that proved to be a little difficult. The actress jokes. Born in northeast London to Caribbean parents, Aki fully understands the importance of accents and the stories behind them. With the help of speech coaches, Aki made sure to understand the history behind Houston's dialect and how the voice spoke. I Want to Dance with Somebody Review, Whitney Houston Biopic sings a frustratingly familiar tune aside from that, there was one other tiny characteristic of note that Aki had to approach, the voice's voice. Though it's Houston's voice in all the performances in the movie, except for the beginning of Greatest Love of All on the first gospel song, Aki still had to actually sing. She likens the experience to singing in the shower and thinking you're doing a phenomenal job until you actually hear yourself. I needed to sing to make sure that everything looked real, Aki says. I would just make sure that John Warhurst, who was head of music on this film, would just crank Whitney up so loud that I could not hear myself. And that was how I would sing. Aki and her sister have been fans of Houston since they were children. Watching the legendary singer's turn as the fairy godmother in Cinderella over and over on VHS. The dedication to watching is real. Knowing how much labor went into rewinding those tapes, first black Cinderella, Brandy says it was pretty mind-blowing being. Cast as first black Cinderella in TV film the Aki siblings were just two of millions of fans worldwide. Though. Aki has been acting on screen for about seven years and is well known for her role in Master of. None, and rarely gets nervous for roles, portraying such a giant was intimidating. This one had me anxious in like a different way, Aki says. Simply because I know I love Whitney but I'm also fully aware that most of the global world loves and appreciates Whitney and her music. And so it's a lot of people to try and make happy with the performance. Anxiety wasn't the only emotion Aki was feeling when she was approached for the role. I was kind of quite surprised, if I'm being honest, about being asked to do it, and it all felt very big and I wasn't sure if I was capable, Aki says. But I was told by so many people. It's okay to be scared, because if you weren't scared, we'd think you were really weird right now. Tackling. A Houston biopic also reminded Aki that she is able to do difficult things. I think this was a big kind of confidence boost for me knowing that I could get through it and see what happens on the other side and nothing is at the end of the world. I mean, we make films and stuff and it's really fun. But it's only film, so like there's a balance to be had there. Aki says she didn't alter the way she usually approaches roles. But she wanted to make sure she was confident. She also made it a point to reach out to her father and sister when she needed emotional support while working. Compressing the legend's life into a two one-half hour film is never going to feel like a complete view of Houston's life. But Aki hopes viewers come away out of the movie having learned something new about the voice and inspired to dig up old performances of hers. I tried my best, but it still does not hold a single candle to what Whitney was like on stage. She was so full of life, and genuinely some of these performances I was watching would bring me to tears because the amount of technical ability and the heart and soul that you need to do to do them. Contributing Melissa Ruggieri